What's going on, folks? Welcome back to a- another episode. So today I got me JBL Post 4. Pretty excited about this one. Um, uh, to be honest, I have been trying to buy some off brand one that does the same thing as the Post 4. And um, it, let's, let's just say it hasn't turned out as I had hoped. Okay. So anyway, I just went ahead and dive in and just bought this just to see how great it is because it looks fantastic on in pictures. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's see how good it is. Pretty excited. So if you have never bought JBL's Bluetooth speakers, you're in for a shock. Um, each one of them that I have reviewed so far has been phenomenal. They have sound amazing. The bass on that thing is amazing. The build quality is absolutely stunning. Yeah. And this one right here so far, the packaging is amazing. Look at this. this is, did they really have to do this? This looks great. All right. Let's. Oh, this. Uh, this feels hefty, by the way. Is this all glass? I didn't. Oh, nice. I don't want to put, put a fingerprint on it. Okay. Let's go ahead. That looks good. Yeah, it looks like it's all glass here. Let me see here. Yeah, this is, I don't think this is plastic. Accessory box. Open this in. Get yourself USB-C charging cords and instruction booklet in here. Um, so first impression is that I notice the rubber seal around the top and the bottom here is pretty much exactly like the Charge 5 that I have. Um, also the Flip 5, the Flip 4 actually is kind of like this as well. And also the Flip 6. So they haven't changed much in terms of um, the material that they use around the base here. Looks like um, speakers up here. And then the base is going to be down here. So pretty much looks like a uh, Charge 5, to be honest with you. Except, you know, now it's all glass. It's heavy, though. This, is, this thing is heavy. Notice some details here, okay? The charging battery. And then look at it. That exclamation mark is on the inside of the glass. See that? Some nice details there. So um, right here, you got the light button and along with the party boost button right here. Um, I'm glad that they have party boost here because I, in my previous video, I've tried it out with the uh, Flip 5 and Flip 6 and it works fantastic. So if you have party boost, this speaker is going to work with it as well. All right. So I'm pretty sure you guys are ready for this next piece right here, which is testing it out. So let's see how great this is. I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, oh, over here, by the way, there's a Bluetooth and a power button. So let's go ahead and press that button, see if there's any power on it. That's beautiful. By the way, the light is blue, meaning that it's trying to connect to Bluetooth, right? Let's take a look here. Here you go, post four shows up right here. So go ahead and tap that. Look at the light. The light reacts to everything. Wow. I feel like it's, it's more like a lava lamp type. You feel that way? Because there isn't, you can't even see the, the actual LED lights in there at all. All right, so let's try out the different uh, light that it has on here. So there's a light button right here. I'm not sure what it does. Let's go ahead and press that. Okay, so look at this. What does this look like to you? This is like fire, right? And this right here is just uh, fading in different colors. And this one right here is just partying, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, just like fireflies. Very nice. And this one right here, I love this color. You see how it's blue with purple? Gonna match my theme quite a bit. That's beautiful. 
and back to the fire. So those are all the modes right there that uh, you're gonna get with this. So you know what, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and select the ones where it plays along with the music. So I think this is the one where it plays along with the music. So let's, let's take a look here, let's take a look. I'm gonna turn on full blast. So I just want to mention um, these other light modes is actually dancing with the music as well. So it's not just that one light mode. This one right here, it's different. It, the entire thing's lit up, but it's still dancing inside. You can definitely see it. So let me change to other light modes as it's uh, playing, okay? Just to let you guys see what the light looks like, I've turned off pretty much all of my studio lights so that you guys can kind of get a real feel of what the lighting looks like because my camera can wash some of the lights out, but in front here, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So let me play that song again, all right? <laughs> Okay guys, so the last thing that I wanna show you guys is there's actually an app for this speakers that you can control all of the RGB lights and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, so I've downloaded it and the first thing that it asked me to do was to update the firmware, which I did. It took like 15 minutes to update the firmware. And after that, it's fine, it's connected to it now. And I've kind of customized it a little bit. I didn't realize that you can do all of this stuff on the app. So first off, Look, look at this, okay? Right now, this, the brightness is about like 25%, maybe 50% here. Look, look at the brightness. If I go 100%, it's really bright. I mean, my camera can't even handle it. So you can dim down the brightness if you want, which you can't do on just the speaker itself, all right? You have to use the app. 
And then the other thing is I can customize with just a single color. So essentially what that means is that if I do like spiritual right there and I pick, let's say purple, as you can see, it's not purely all purple, right? It's actually doing like some pink right here along with purple. The reason why is if you look at the, at the um, app right here, it's on purple, but then all the surrounding color is gonna, that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna simulate those surrounding color on here which is pretty cool. Or if you can just do the default if you want, you can just click on that and then it'll just turn into the default that the speaker came with. And you can do that if you want. But if you have like a color scheme like, like me back here, where it's kind of like a pinkish, purplish uh, color scheme, I can literally just hit purple and expect that, you know, the color scheme to kind of match with what I have because look at this, it has pink and purple in the surrounding color. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Um, like once again, you can up the brightness on this one, but obviously I didn't do that because my, my camera can't really handle that bright. So anyway, you can also do all the things that you would do with that light button up here. You can change to campfire if you want. And by the way, the campfire, you actually don't have to have this color. You can do like a purple campfire if you want. You can do a I don't know, orange or pink. Oh, this is more of like a pink color. Pretty cool. Or you can just go back to default, which is called color loop right here. And it'll go back to default, which is very cool, very cool. And then the big one right here is all the customization. This is a customized display. So as you can see, it's kind of the fairy flies or whatever you want to call it. It's in there kind of playing around with it. Um, you can do however you want. Like I think, uh, I can drag stuff on there. I mean, grab this and then drag it on there. And yeah, I honestly don't know how that works. I just know that um, now that I've dragged all of that and low, mid and high, I'm not sure what that means. Probably when the music is playing, you know, low, mid and high. And But look, it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So it's doing all of them right now. Pretty cool, useful, I don't know, depending on your, your situation but you can customize all of that. That's pretty cool. And then you can obviously turn the brightness on and off and stuff like that. Uh, with the color, you can just, you know, don't do co the color loop and just literally do one single color on it, like purple right here, or go back to the, cur to the loop. Yeah. And the other cool part is uh, within this app, you can actually like turn off the feedback tone. You know how when you, when you turn on the speaker, it does that tone, um, you can turn that off. <laughs> I didn't realize that at all. Uh, and then also you can turn on party boost in here. You don't have to use, um, you have to press this button at all, which by the way, let's test out party boost on this thing. Okay, so now that I've turned off the Bluetooth on the Charge 5, the two speakers are actually still connected. Yeah, um, so let me play it and let me show you that it's connected. So check this out, okay? The Bluetooth button is off, you see that? But you see that little ring right there? Basically what that means is that party boost is actually on and it's connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Yeah, look at that. It's connected. And this is playing as well. That is so cool. So anyway, yeah, if you have issue with like the two speakers uh, interfering with each other, just turn off disconnect. You don't have to like f do forget device, just do disconnect on one of the speakers, um, probably the second speaker, and it will still connect party boost. So I wanna, the one thing that I wanna check out is in here in my app, it's still saying that I am connected to the charge five. You see that? Post four and charge five. So it, it kind of knows whenever you turn on party boost on the speaker itself. So once again, guys, don't connect your second speaker to your phone. That's my best advice right there. For some reason, there's just interference. Uh, hopefully, JBL will fix that with firmware and stuff like that. But so far, that's the workaround for me. 
Um, but that's it right there. That's the JBL Pose 4. Beautiful speaker. Probably one of the most beautiful speakers out there. It's pretty much a JBL Charge 5 on steroid. That's my opinion right there. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for me right there. I am out of here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.